So one day I was using HTML to hack into NASA and my buddy Brian hit me up to help him out with a repo of his. He says that he's trying to integrate a hamburger menu into a project that he's working on, but he's having a little bit of trouble. He also asked if I could style it up a little bit better. So let's put NASA on hold for a bit and let me show you how to contribute to someone else's work on GitHub. Step one, fork the repository. Head on over to the GitHub repo that you want to contribute to. You should see a fork option. After clicking fork, click create fork. GitHub will then create a copy of that repo on your GitHub account. Step two, clone the forked repository. GitHub is going to redirect you to your forked copy of the repo. From here, you can click the big code button and choose how you'd like to clone the repo to your machine. I'll go ahead and click the copy button since I'm gonna use the terminal to clone down my forked repo. Feel free to use whichever option works best for you. Step three, create a new branch. Once you have your repo cloned down, make sure any work that you do is on a new branch. To create a new branch, make sure you're in the repos directory and you'll wanna write something in the terminal. Write git checkout dash b followed by the branch name. Make sure your branch name is descriptive. If we go back to Brian's repo and check out his issues tab, we can see an issue for the broken hamburger menu. So I'll name my branch ham menu fix. Step four, make your changes. Make any changes that you need to to the code base to ensure that the work you are contributing works as expected and fixes an issue if you're trying to resolve one. Be sure to keep your changes relevant to the branch name that you created. Don't go and add in a ton of new features or fix multiple bugs in the same branch. Step five, commit your changes. I'll use the command git add period. This adds all my changes to staging. Next, I'll write git commit dash m. And in parentheses, I'll write a short description about this commit. I'll say that I fixed the issue where the menu wasn't showing when clicked. Step six, push your changes. Now I'll use the git push origin command followed by the branch name. This will push my changes to the forked repo on GitHub not Brian's repo, but my forked copy. Step seven, create the pull request. In order to get these changes submitted for review by Brian, I need to create a pull request. This essentially means I'm requesting that Brian pull in my changes. To do this, navigate to the maintainer's repo, not your forked copy. You should see a compare and pull request button. Click it, review your changes, and make sure everything is ready to be reviewed by the maintainer. And always be sure to include a detailed description of the changes you made in the pull request. Step eight, submit the pull request. Once you have filled out the title and description and reviewed your changes, click the create pull request button to submit your pull request. Now you just need to wait for the maintainer to check out your changes and if everything's good, they'll merge it in. If not, they may write some helpful comments and you'll wanna try again. Once the maintainer has accepted the pull request, they will merge your branch into theirs. This is a very basic guide on submitting pull requests, so you should be able to start contributing to projects now. Now that you understand this, I'm gonna go back and update the styles a bit as requested and then submit another PR. Then it's back to hacking NASA. Maybe I should try to hack with CSS this time. 